Welcome to the Blockchain Report, where we discuss all things blockchain technology, digital assets, DeFi, NFTs, and much more. Today's video, we are diving into the Haas Network Testnet wallet, which just went live today. This is 30 million transactions, six and a half million wallets on our testnet. It's time to take things to the next level. Now they integrate a Haas wallet telegram mini app and experience seamless cross-chain interactions firsthand. So we can start testing on Telegram and I will show you how to walk through or I will help you walk through this in using the documentation and we'll walk through this together and figure it out. But before we actually dive into this testnet wallet, Thank you so much for joining. Please like, subscribe, comment, share this out to anyone you think would be interested in blockchain technology, all the fun stuff we get to learn, and cool rewards we earn along the way. Now, House Testnet has been doing a lot of stuff, and they're going to reward Testnet users, but they also have some NFTs that you can mint. They do cost some money on base if you can afford it but they do have testnet stuff that is free so don't worry about that um i do have other host network videos and if you ever need help with any of these testnets check out the discord link is down below we asked a few questions in the rules and, or in the welcome section and in the rules and guidelines click the thumbs up nice 2000 and you will have access to all these wonderful channels we do have testnet channels in the server so check those out and thank you to everyone that's in there and to those of you who are new welcome welcome and check me out on x the bcr142 and my man the co-host veteran crypto uh, we do a live show on monday nights 5 p.m pacific 8 p.m eastern so check that out now go to house network uh twitter page i will provide the links down below so the documents so what is House Network multi-chain ecosystem with AI-driven adaptive management? So they want to basically be a DeFi hub that brings liquidity to all blockchains through AI assistance. So it's a lot more efficient, it's cheaper, and you can find ways of generating more revenue than with a human, less human error. So what we'll do is in the document section, open House Wallet and see it's kind of like a combination of like, what the hell is this? aggregation layer, data availability, account abstraction. I don't know what NFFL is, Astoria, ZK proof. So it's kind of like all this weird tech or this cool tech like in the one thing. Let's launch this and start. <clears throat> what can this bot do? We will start here, a oh, wallet. Let's see. Okay, let's go back the wallet. Okay, launch. We'll do this right here. Okay, I don't think we can move that. So anyways, we'll just kind of do it like this. Create our login. Okay, and then it sends a six digit code to your, so send that to your email address. And yep, it says please verify your email address. Okay, now once you put your pin in, you got your wallet and the receive tokens, we will go up here. Oh, copy your wallet address. So host, at work, what we'll if you've done this before, we're going to send token. You should have it in your Rabby wallet. Um, go to send or testnet host network, and you're gonna paste that wallet address. Add this to contacts. Okay, I'm gonna send one host token. Actually, what I'm gonna host testnet faucet. Now I do have a bookmarks tab with a uh, ask right here host network. So, okay, now I'll get another host token. And so there we go. We got one host, our wallet right here. How about that? So next, okay, the other press receive. Oh, and that's how you copy your so, home screen, wallet. You can swap tokens right in here. So host, we're gonna we're just gonna swap a little point one right now, just until we get more tokens in there. So very little fee. Okay, okay. I see. Okay, I'm not gonna put this in right now, but I'm gonna wait to, to do that because I don't want to keep putting my pin in there. So that's how you swap and what else do they have? So you can swap into each one of these tokens. After reviewing the exchange details, current rates, click confirm swap. Okay, yep, basically just going through the swap function. 
and you'll need to enable that. So that's good. Status will be pending while transaction is processed. So basically that's it for the swap. Check on the token details. Oops, I just closed out of my wallet. Okay, well, we'll I'll just walk you through this because my window, Telegram window is not working properly. So yeah, you can just check out the token details. Click on it. So there's a supply button. Click on supply right here. You can supply any one of these tokens. And so I'm going to swap for 0 0.1 USDT. And I can't show you because it's on my, my wallet. But I'm right here. So after you review, it should be pending. And the rate was renewed. You'll be asked to confirm the swap again. It will say, yep, this is what mine says. Set 0.12 and then done. So click done. After transaction completed, you should have some USDT, which I do have. So you can click on USDT right here in the wallet. Click on that and it'll bring this up. That. And yeah, you can see the token details, but close, hit the back button right there. And then you will go to the supply tab and click this right here, supply. Once you click supply, it'll look like this. So supply any amount. I'm gonna put all of my USDT and then hit supply. And then put in your pin and confirm your transaction. And it should say pending. I need to put my pin again. Okay, no, not yet. Yep, successfully completed or supply mm -hmm. completed. So that's what I see, click done. And then you should see uh, your withdrawal available yep so borrow you can borrow um that's your apr how much you have to pay per year so if you want to borrow you can do some of that i'm gonna click on borrow usdt and the maximum i can borrow is nine cents so i'm just gonna do 0 0.01 um i'm doing usdt so usdt i'm borrowing usdt and putting my pin now it's pending now i see borrow complete now hit done and then borrow tab you should see you know your health factor mine says 0 0.01 and i have 10.9 percent borrow used and my health factor is 9.79 so a little bit different than what's on here but nonetheless it very similar so the wallet balances will be updated and you can send tokens uh when you go to wallet back to wallet and just hit send button yeah whatever token so wrapped E on that address, how much send. I will actually send them to myself. I'm gonna send some tokens to my other wallet. I'm gonna send host instead of wrapped E. So I sent point zero or point one host my other wallet and now I am pending and send completed. Hit done. You can check transaction history on the main tab. Where is it at? Yeah, so here's the send, there's the receive under the wallet, there's the swap, and there's the history, and there's the host network testnet wallet. So there's a QR code function. Where is it? Let's go back up here. Yeah, there's a QR code function right here, and the settings are down here, and what else? These little three dots, it says reload page, terms of use, and privacy policy and that's it and that's really it so that's the host testnet wallet in a wrap up so you can add more tokens once they incorporate more but that's not really part of this at the moment and yeah check it out but remember if you do need help we do have a discord link down below and with that this is the blockchain report have a wonderful day homie peace